Prince, today we need to have a very tough discussion about something that's a huge problem on YouTube that's happening right now as we speak, and it is the idea or phenomenon of content creators being in contact with minors and then developing inappropriate relationships. So what's sad to me is that there's not really a good enough system to deal with this issue on YouTube's hand or on YouTube's side. I want to tell a story what happened with me. Okay, so I contacted YouTube's help thing. YouTube has like a help thing. You can contact them. I'm a content creator. I need help with something. You know, get, get some customer service on the line. Customer service gets on the line with me. We're, we're texting each other. And I tell them, I have a problem. Okay, I have a serious problem. Um, I'm a YouTuber. I make videos. I've made friends on the internet. Okay, I've made friends with uh, kids because kids watch my videos. And there is a specific girl <coughs> that I've developed feelings for. Um, and it's a problem. And, I, and I'm communicating it to YouTube to tell on myself before anything bad happens. And the person on the customer service side freaked out and did, did not know what to do with that information and said just go to a therapist and that's not a good enough that's not a good enough response um, keep in mind y'all I know I'm probably creeping you out with what I just confessed but there are kids all over the world right now who are being seduced by content creators and being brought into inappropriate relationships and it's happening all over the world right now as we speak right now and so what qualifies me to stand to make a stance in this problem on the internet which is adults meeting kids online is that one I freaking love kids and I want to entertain the heck out of you guys and I am not a pedophile but also two I can relate to the content creators that do go down this path because one of the one of the friends I've made online I started to think about romantically and I need help, right? Well, can we can we please create a world where I don't get canceled because I am doing something about it, trying to do something about it because I don't want to be rejected by society. That's literally my worst nightmare is that society would reject me. Um, so I'll do whatever you guys suggest in terms of, hey, we're not going to accept you if you behave a certain way. Okay, fine. I, I don't want to be rejected by society. Not at all. Please, please. Please accept me. Um, and obviously I cannot... I cannot live with myself now because I'm in a predicament. Okay? And if you think this is cheesy or weird, you have to put yourself in my shoes and then you also have to remember that this is happening right now. There's a thousand other guys out there right now talking to minor girls on the internet right now, trying to seduce them or seduct them, trying to get them to meet in real life, trying to do bad things. But they're not telling on themselves. They, they don't have a way to get out of that situation. Instead, they, um, they just go down that trap. And what I'm trying to do is say that I th I'd like to provide a solution. And I'm not just going to come here and criticize YouTube. I'd like to provide a solution. But uh, YouTube needs a button for content creators where you, you click this button and it says, I need help because I'm entertaining kids and now it's starting to mess with my mind a little bit. Okay? Because uh, here's the deal, we all want to be entertained. Like we, we want content creators to be able to entertain kids. That's like the, the joy of life is making art and entertaining you guys. And I am, 
I am literally so dedicated to being uh, to being an entertainer. I don't want to do anything else with my life other than to entertain you guys. That's all I care about for some reason. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of other people like me, and I think there's a lot of people like me also who um, who don't who don't like go into this having bad intentions. I never planned on catching feelings for one of the girls that became a fan of my YouTube channel, but I did. And now I see where these other content creators are making the mistake is they don't have a way to get out of that because once you catch feelings for someone, um, <laughs> how do you stop? How do you stop having feelings for somebody? That's not possible. Like you can't just stop it. And when I contacted the YouTube customer customer service, but the, the help people, um, the person just kept copying, pasting something. Duh, uh, if if you do anything with that person, it's illegal and you'll be arrested. And uh, uh, go get therapy and go get help and copy paste and to. But I was trying to get. Like there's there's got to be a better. YouTube, there's got to be a better way to um, to deal with this issue than to uh, than to send content creators elsewhere. I think YouTube needs a place inside the company that says, uh, okay, so here's this phenomenon: uh, content creators are entertaining kids. They get to know the kids online. There's there's ways to communicate. The kids start emailing you, okay. And I don't, I'm not trying to blame kids because I would never ever want to blame kids for anything. But here's the fact. There's kids who don't get enough attention at home, or they do, and but they just find a adult online that they look up to for some reason. They find an adult that they look up, uh, the, that they find online, and that they want that person's attention now. So the kid gives their attention to this person because they find their videos or content. Now the kid actually wants that person's attention. And so what the kid does is they start contacting that person, trying to see if they can get a response. And so um, a lot of content creators just want to be nice. They, you know, oh, a kid likes me? That's like the biggest compliment ever. So yeah, I'll say hi or whatever. And so, but then what happens is you end up being friends with some of these kids because they're so funny or, or because they're, they're so active in your community or they want to help you. They want to be a part of it. They want to like make thumbnails for you and stuff. And it's, it's so awesome. And it's so cool that like a, uh, an adult content creator could actually have kids show up who volunteer to do work for free because they just want to make art too. And they just want to be a part of it. And I think it would be really sad if the world said, no, we're just not going to ever allow that because, because of like what could happen in terms of sexually. That's the big one. So I want to address this head on. If YouTube's going to have a platform where adults can easily gain friends with tons of kids like that because just just by being an adult by the way side tangent on point but side tangent <laughs> if you're an adult and you make YouTube videos it's way easier to get fans just because uh, kids will look up to you because you're an adult just so you know so if you're a kid and you're YouTubing you have a harder time to get new fans because an older person will be more attractive as a content creator to, to consume that person's content just because they're older and so the kid can look up to the person and, and, that's, and that's so important in each one of our lives to be able to find someone that we look up to that we can learn from that we can replicate and so just by being an adult it's way easier to get uh, the attention of lots of kids and there's a phenomenon that happens where you might meet one kid that like really stands out um, and content creators need a way to contact YouTube and say it's happening it's happening something something's happening that's not supposed to um, I don't want to get in trouble I don't want to jeopardize my career um, 
I, I'd like to be in contact with YouTube saying like, look, I'm succeeding. The guys, this is so great. I'm succeeding. I'm making videos that people actually want to watch. I'm, uh, I'm a YouTuber that is going to entertain these kids and have good morals in my videos or little life lessons in my videos. I mean, not all my videos have that, but some, a lot of my videos are just trying to be funny, but I'm, I'm really trying to up my game in terms of like having little life lessons to help people become better people in society. Um, like I would love, I would love for other people in society who don't watch my YouTube videos to have a positive interaction with someone. Because that person was watching my YouTube channel, and I told them, hey, go be friendlier today. Go be a little more respectful today. And, and so that person goes out and is a little more respectful or nicer. And so then some random person in this world gets treated better because of my YouTube channel. That's what I'd like my channel to do. Plus, I'm going to make you laugh. That's the goal. And so, yes, guys, I'm, I'm experiencing success. You know, we don't... we. We don't want me to stop. I mean, do you want me to stop making YouTube videos? No. And I don't want to stop making YouTube videos. This is all I've ever wanted with my entire life. But then I developed feelings for one of the for one of the girls that found my YouTube channel. And um, and I had to tell on myself. I had to. I had to tell on myself because there was no other way. There was no other way to go about it without misbehaving. I'm just, I'm just telling you, that's how it works. Just trust me. Just trust me. I know you don't trust me. Just trust me. That's how it works. And there's a lot of content creators right now who are making awesome content, entertaining kids, and who have actually developed feelings for one of the kids that, that is consuming their content. Okay, It's happening right now in secret. And I'm the one that's bringing it out to the public, so I would like a little credibility for being willing to expose myself and for being willing to share my story and for being willing to take on literally the worst identity possible known to mankind which would be a child abuser which is like what I have not done yet but it's like what I'm saying is I have feelings for one of the kids that watch my channel and so I am at risk of becoming the worst freaking person in society And YouTube needs a way for people like me to hit a button in the creator studio that says, I'm at risk of becoming one of these monsters. And YouTube needs a way to help me work through this and talk through this and get through this. Don't, YouTube, you can't send me, say, go, get, go, go, go find a therapist. That's what the person in customer service said. When I went to the help to ask for help from YouTube itself, they said... <coughs> Go find a therapist and don't get arrested. <laughs> oh, God bless that person. Whoever that was, they probably had the worst, most strange interaction of content creators reaching out asking for help. This was most, probably most, there's probably usually technical stuff or something. Uh, here I come with this huge luggage. They said, go get a therapist and don't get arrested. <laughs> it's good advice. It's great advice. But here's another issue, y'all. You, you can't just send me away like that. Go get a therapist. No, YouTube, YouTube needs to provide some kind of therapy uh, for this. You, you can't just send me away, okay? Because guess what? I'm not going to go find a therapist. I'm not. I'm going to demand that YouTube provides me a therapist and that YouTube provides the other content creators a therapist who are in my situation. Because, guys, we can stop a lot of damage that will happen to kids in the future just by providing a, a link for a, social, or for a content creator to click saying, I'm developing feelings for one of the minors that watches my YouTube channels. I need help. And it's got to come from YouTube. It can't, YouTube can't keep sending people away to go get help. YouTube needs to provide therapist or whatever it is that, whatever strange thing it is that I need to work through so that I can be a normal person again. Guys, friends, friends, I want to, I, I just want to make content. I just want to entertain you. <sighs> okay? I don't look at illegal material online. I don't have weird fetishes that are, um, illegal. I don't have any of that. I don't I'm not, I'm not a total creep. It's it's as simple as 
I was making YouTube videos and then met someone I thought was special. And if YouTube has a way to help someone like me, it will prevent so many content creators from becoming monsters. And that's what we want. And that's, that's what we need to see happen. And so I guess um, I, if someone from YouTube watches this, I, I hope they do. I would just, I would just love to see um, something on y'all's end to help with this phenomenon. It's something like there's got to be a way to um, to be more direct about what like, what's going on without ruining everything.